Hey guys, what's up? Jerome Fossil for the win here today. We're gonna be hopping up to a new Clash Royale episode, and we got a lot of exciting news for you guys. So yeah. Um, before I start, you know how do I start it? Say hi to YouTube. And I already made um this video, but I'm gonna repeat it again because the previous one um wasn't really good and it had a lot of lags and you know. So yeah. I'm gonna put brackets again. So, anyways, guys, if you take a look at the inbox, you could realize that you could see Balanchese is upcoming in 19 of September. Today is 17 September, because if you go to the calendar, like of course by the time you're watching it, it's 17 um, September. So let's return back to Clash Royale. Boom, and it's coming after two days. Means it's coming up on Monday. So everyone is hyped, and I already wrote all the balance changes on my paper, cause I already built a deck. Um, like every card that got either nerfed or buffed, which mean a balanced, I put I like drop them to a deck, and of there's two legendary, which are the lumberjack and the log, which I don't have. You know, I just have all the cards beside the legendary, which sucks. And yeah, I don't have them, so I replace them with other cards. So we're gonna go for a live battle with this, and we're gonna talk a bit about, and we're gonna discuss, of course, and talk a bit about the giant, um, the nerfs and the buffs. So first of all, we got giant damage decreased by five percent. So I'm not first. I'm not really sure about how to play the deck, but anyways, damage decreased by five percent, and this is a very good thing. And thanks God that Super Soul like um oh oh my God I'm fine. So thanks God the Super Soul just managed to nerf the giant damage because you know the giant is made just for one thing to absorb damage, not to make damage. Because if you realize a level six giant could deal over 600 um sorry i mean 600 that would be so crazy 201 damage every punch he does which is a very big number i mean he absorbed damage and at the same time he makes over 200 damage which is not a big good which is not a good thing for a unit that holds five elixir and yeah so good that they nerfed him Second of all, we got the Rage Spell. Elixir cost decreased from 3 to 2, so that's a big good buff. And I think Rage Spell will be used more, but at the same time it got a nerf, which will make it equal. So effect decreased by 30% from 40%, and duration decreased by 2 seconds. For, so for example, you know when you got uh, unlocked the Rage Spell um, as a level, like you have a level 1 Rage Spell, um, it... Um, like the duration is eight seconds, okay, but they're gonna decrease two seconds, so it's gonna be now six seconds. So this is a kind of, um, it's it's a bad nerf. But anyways, they also again they um decrease the duration, like um the duration uh, no not the duration the rage effect, which means the speed of the troops from forty percent to thirty percent when they enter the rage spell ring. Next, we got the lumberjack. The same thing, like you know, when the lumberjack dies, he spit, he like throws a rage spell, and you know, everything. Um, I talked about the rage spell just from like right now, from a second ago. Um, gonna be applied to the lumberjack. So again, of course, not the elixir cost, cause the lumberjack costs four, and they want to decrease him. Rage is another thing. Okay, so yeah, um, again, it's gonna decrease from forty percent to three thirty percent. Sorry. And um, the second gonna be decreased from, like it's gonna be decreased two second. I can't say from. Anyways, I'm losing this battle, so I think I have to give him the free one, guys. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this one. Anyways, next we got mirror. Mirror is um, one card higher level than its own level. This is a very big buff. We gotta say a good buff because I think the mirror should be used more because um, we would like to see in Clash Royale um, the surprise element and that would be great for example a lot of people would use a mirror because for example you're a max player okay you're a top player with level 13 commons and level 11 rares and level 8 um, epics and also level 5 legends so it's gonna mirror a common from level 13 to level 14 from a uh, rare from level 11 to level 12 the epic from level 8 to level 9 and the legendary from level 5 to level 6 so they're gonna return the legendary because you know it was level 6 previously then they decreased it to level 5 for a reason the max level not really sure why but yeah they did it so yeah again let me check if I'm recording because this is an important video and we got more guys so let me show you this replay while I'm gonna complete my talking and I'm gonna um, put it in four speeds because um 
No, not this one. I just did it. We're gonna put it for four speed because there's not a lot much, like not much left. So as you see, he, he's a level ten king, and you're gonna see the results after I finish. So, anyways, um, we got the log, guys. This is the big one. The log gonna now knock back all ground troops. So you know the golem, the pekka, the roll giant. He got. A lot of those heavy troops, ground troops, like those troops I just mentioned right now from a second, the lug will be able to knock them back. Any troop, even if it's so heavy. Even, um, again, even if it's a roller giant, giant, if it's gonna be a uh, golem, gonna be a pekka, any of those heavy troops, now the lug can be able to knock them off, which is a big buff. And gonna give the lug more love. Anyways, you know, the lug already got a buff. I don't really remember what it was, but... Um, it got a buff from the previous balance changes, so this battle was just so fast anyways, yeah So we got just two more. Let's um, do it quickly bomber HP decreased by 2% and damage increase by 2% so Like most most of the balance changes update they um like they, ba they balance the bomber they keep buffing the bomber damage for a reason but they decreased him for by 2 HP just to balance the lower arena level like um, of how bomber is um, commonly a lot of use like overrated in the lower arenas last but not least well I'm not doing it the lighting spell um, is before before the last but I just put it last for a reason but anyways lighting spell stun targets for 0 0.5 second guys you know the zap um, that stuns for 0.5 second previously it was one second, but they decreased it to 0 0.5 from the previous um, balance changes. But yeah, the lighting spell will not only deal damage, but will also stun for 0 0.5 seconds. So we may see um, Hog Rider Zap, um, yeah, Hog Rider Zap. Let's say no, not Hog Rider Zap. Hog Rider Lightning Spell, because the lightning has uh, three strikes, as you see. Oh, I just forgot to add the lightning. Anyways, wait. Oh, wait, 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 I already have it. I just, um, never mind. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, it's gonna stun. So, we could see Hog um, Lightning. Well, it's gonna strike three, um, let's say, buildings or troops, and, aka troops, and gonna stun at the same time. So, let's donate that guy some roll giants. And boom. And, guys, we also have 5,612 donations, which is big. And our ice spirit is up to level 7. And we're just wanting on fireballs to get it up to level 7. So we're so close to upgrade it. And after, um, you're gonna know in a second. So now let's go to Twitter or Facebook. If you have Facebook or Twitter and you follow Clash Royale, you should know what I'm talking about. If, and if you don't, then you have to follow and add them. So anyways, let's open Twitter for a reason. I love Twitter more than Facebook. But anyways, let's type out Clash Royale. And uh, this is the real one. Okay, guys, see their tweets. This is the big one. So we got sneak peek number one. Two new chests. Well, this is a big thing. When I saw the word two new chests, I was so hyped that I was uh, I opened the image and was like, what the hell? Okay, guys, two new chests, legendary and epic chest. So if you open it, boom, you could see this is the legendary chest. And there's an epic chest. There's not really an image for it. Not really sure why, maybe because they really caring for the legendary chests. But I'm gonna talk. What are those legendary and yeah? So yeah, this one. Okay, if you see this picture on the left is the epic chest, and this one in the right is a legendary chest. So yeah, I'm gonna explain for you what it do. Also, when you open Facebook, you could also see if you open Clash Royale. Yeah, um, boom. Okay. This one, sneak peek number one, two new chests, legendary and epic. You can, of course, open your comment, the comments by your own and watch them. And anyways, um, let me check how I'm recording. Anyway, okay, now minutes. We can go for another battle, so let's go to Clash Royale. We're going to go for our giant three musketeer and talk a bit about the two new chests. So, yeah, of course you should um, open them, Sheaf Pads, Galadons, Clash's Ash, a lot of YouTubers, Orange Juice, a lot of YouTubers, even Nick and Knight, Molt, Gaming with Molt, a lot of those YouTubers got the video at the same time, they uploaded it at the same time, so people could watch it. So, let's, yeah, let's talk about it. So, Legendary and Epic Chest. Guys, if you watched my, um, what should I say? Um, I'm... I'm speechless, guys, because he just aired my three here, so I got speechless. But anyways, guys, if you watch my um, top five or either top ten wish list of Clash Royale, I don't really remember. Then um, I said on, on one of them that I would like to see in my wish list, okay, a legendary chest being added. And this was an original idea. I didn't even steal it. I stole some, 
like I stole like one or two but the others were original you can of course see it by your own just type my channel name top 10 or top 5 clash for which list or check it out for my playlist so anyways yeah so boom oh we got a like anyways so yeah we talked about the legendary chest where the there should create something called a legendary chest where it should be let's say um they should make the chance to get a legendary 100 percent just to make it fair because you know super magical chest doesn't have a 100 percent chance to get us uh, to get a legendary but it has but it of course it has a chance anyways and it offers you a um, lot of epics commons and rare and of course every let's say um every chest has a chance to offer you a legendary even the silver and the free chest offers you but anyways yeah you got the point at last so yeah so the legend chest gonna be 100% guaranteed to have just one legendary it means when you open the legendary chest what you get is just a legendary don't get any gold you don't get any common rare and epic just the legendary and that's it and for the epic chest um yeah same thing you get but but of course you don't get legendary you just open it and you get epic you don't get gold you don't get legendary you don't get rare or either common but only you just get the whatever you call it the epic yeah and yeah this is um like this is great because a lot of free to play players are like let's say having arguments with um clash royale or or supercell let's say that free to play players are finding a really big hard time to get epics and legendaries epics are not really hard to get but legendaries for the most part Anyways, you know, you saw my Gemix Pre videos where I opened a lot of super magical chests and magical chests, $250 iTunes gift card, Gemix Pre. You can check it by your own, of course, it's a very fun video, but at last I got no legendary. I mean, on my whole Clash Royale history, of course, um, with the Gemix Pre, I opened like two super magical chests, okay? Over 10 and uh, over 10 magical and giant chests, and at last I don't get a legendary. I mean, a lot of people get, um, let's say, legendaries um, from a free chest, from crown chest, from something like that. But me, who pays for Clash Royale, don't even like, I mean, I'm supporting Clash Royale. Okay, a lot of people, free to play players, don't even spend gems, but when they get those free chests, they get the legendary. But me, who pays for Supercell and really like help them. They don't give me the legendary. I mean, what's wrong with Supercell? Come on. Come on, Supercell. I mean, what's wrong with you? Come on. So, anyways, yeah. Let's use Fire Spirit. Okay, we have to stop that guy. Okay. See how we can put the three musketeers in the very middle and just snipe the top. Oh, my God. Come on. Skull the wizard. Cut the w Oh, my God. I'm in a big trouble. He just easily um, killed my three musketeers. Let me fireball the bomber and the jump. Boom. Here we go. We have 12, um, 10 seconds, guys. Or, like, less 15 seconds. We can't really. We're going to be in a draw, most probably. So, yeah. What played? Anyways, yeah, the epic chest. You get ten epics based on any arena, okay? Like you get, uh, let's say, ten epics. Even if your arena, I believe, I'm not gonna confirm it. I'm not really sure, but even if your arena one and you got the epic chest, you can't get any epic from any arena, okay? Even from arena eight. Even if your arena one, you could get arena eight epics. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna say yes, but I think, I think. But for the legendary chest, which is 100% yes, when you get a legendary chest, um, of course it's gonna be. Um, yeah, for example, your arena, um, arena one, I think, okay, or maybe, yeah, let's say arena one, and you got the legendary chest, you open it, you could get a legendary, well, you know, from training cab to arena three, you can't get any legend, but from arena four, Pekka's Playhouse, all the way up to Frozen Peak, or legendary arena, you could get at least a legend, but even if your arena, like, arena four and below, you could get any legendary from either the roller arena, from the Frozen Peak, from the Builder's Workshop, from the yeah from the spell valley and from the lava home which is a big thing so of course you can check those famous youtubers and get the details because they had the developer builds account where they supercell gave them their the account just to show you how it looks and they made openings so yeah that's all what i can do for now so hey guys this is gonna be a video i hope you all enjoy my video Please don't forget to subscribe and also comment down the comment question of the day i love you guys it for more dolphin peach first world peace because red peace on the end peace out have fun. Yeah.